garden and noticed that my purple sprout broccoli is starting to bolt so I'm gonna cut some of this and cook it up with something from my fridge. Ooh, put some spinach there as well and some kale maybe maybe some spinach will go with it. That's what I've harvested and if you have a look at the pruning cuts you can see that there's still some little flowers there so what they'll do is so you can focus they'll they'll re-flower from that cut stem and just shoot up again so you got if you catch it right you got uh, broccoli forever and I've cut some of the it was charred actually I've cut some of the chard and that's the gift that keeps on giving as well so and that's that stuff there right so this is going to be a one pot meal so I'm cooking it on my camping stove and uh, I've just got some fusilli uh, whole wheat pasta in there just boiling up and then I'll put a plate on that to keep it warm after I've drained it and then crack on with the rest of it. Chopped up some red onions, some um, red and orange peppers and I've got a saucisson sec which is like uh, salami but like nice and meaty and chunky. It's a, a French rich and aromatic sausage and I'm going to cook with it. Normally I'd, I'd just eat it cold. It is in all its glory and believe it or not that white stuff is mold edible mold let's get into it you can see from cutting it that the skin actually does come off but uh the mold is completely edible i've been i've been assured so here's a bit without the without the paper and here's the paper mm. mummy <laughs> so the sauce is on <laughs> The peppers and the onions are sizzling away in the pan. Oh, I forgot garlic. Perfect time to test out one of these bad boys. They're pretty big. More, more garlic than I would normally put in. Frozen crushed garlic. So while that's sizzling behind me, I'm going to prepare the sauce. I literally haven't followed a recipe. I haven't, didn't look up anything apart from, yes, you can cook with saucisson or saucisson sec. So in there, I'm going to go with a cream of mushroom soup base some smoked paprika because I, I like a smoky flavor when I'm doing any sausage dishes so quite a liberal amount in there a bit of ground ginger I've already got the garlic in the pan the frozen cube we saw earlier um, I've got some chicken and rosemary stock there and a teaspoon of hot chili what's your mama cooking nicely so I'm just going to throw the chard in and the purple sprout and broccoli just to wilt it down a little bit. That is in the in the soup and all the herbs and spices or spices anyway. This is all going to successfully go in to the pan aren't you? You're going to behave yourself. I tasted a little bit of the sausage and it's so nice it's so smoky already so I'm looking forward to this. Ah, it looks beautiful that's just going to heat through but wow i'm impressed with the colors and looks of that it looks like something i would love to receive in a restaurant i'm really happy with that so and that's veg that's grown in my garden um and just covered ingredients just stuff that i've got going on here so and it's really cheap as well because the sausage was only one pound fifty perfect well the dish up moment i didn't follow any recipes for this at all i just threw in the flavors that i like and that looks wonderful to me i don't actually cook a lot of pasta don't eat a lot of pasta but i thought sausage and pasta would go really well so let's get into it and see what it tastes like hopefully not disastrous um like to judge my own cooking by thinking would i be happy with that if it was presented to me in a restaurant so visually 100 percent, i'd be happy with that it looks really nice i like the oranges and the reds and the greens combined and, uh, and I wanted a creamy mushroom base. So I thought, well, why not just use a creamy mushroom soup? So let's try, let's try a bit of the pasta. This is whole wheat. So it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's healthier. That is not bad at all. Um, I left it, I took it out when it was half cooked. 
and just left it in the water to finish off cooking and then uh, yeah just put it in the sauce mm. oh just had a bit of the sausage on that's really nice it goes really well with the pasta um cut it up into little strips And it's, it's, it's got its own smoky flavour anyway. I don't think I'll ever eat that raw again because I tried it raw and it was okay. I mean, it's, it's tasty, but when you cook it, it just releases all those flavours. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> it, it tastes like a recipe. That's what I like about it. It doesn't actually taste like um, something I'd just knock together with, honestly, with no clue what i was doing even when i was uh clipping the the um broccoli i had no idea what i was going to do with it mm. that sausage is lush right let's get into some of this broccoli that i've been banging on about excuse the mess so look at that from my own balcony garden Mm. <laughs> oh, it soaked up all the flavours. Wow, I think that's like my best bit so far. With that huge lump of garlic, it doesn't taste overly garlicky. It's a good job on my own, on my own today, otherwise, because otherwise I'd probably stink. Hmm. Oh yeah. The mushroom goes really well with the sausage as well. It kind of reminds me of um. A healthier carbonara because I really like carbonara, but it's made with so much like dairy and cream and stuff like that. Can't be good for you. So, in my head, it's like I don't eat carbonara because, um, it's just I know how high in fat it is and everything else, but I do miss it. I really used to like it. So, this is a, a healthy version of that. So, it feels, feels like I'm eating that. Mmm. It's just banging. Sorry, I'm, I'm banging on a bit, but this is so nice. If you were eating it with me, you'd be thinking the same. Mmm, this is divine. Even though I put a load of paprika in there, smoked paprika, the sausage has so much flavour, it's kind of overriding it. There's a little tiny hint of chilli. So I'm going to give myself like an eight out of 10 because it tastes really good, but it's not quite smoky enough. And it's not quite chilly enough. So, and that was extra hot chili I put in as well. Unless my tolerance levels just goes, gone through the roof, but it's got the, a nice little tongue tingle. <laughs> and, uh, and it is smoky, but just not, I wanted it like in your face smoky. Mm. It's subtle. Is what it is i don't normally do such i do big bold brassy flavors so so because of my own palate i'm giving it an what would i say an 8.5 out of 10 so but if it if if i'd have put a little bit more spice in it it would have been a nine mm. wow thanks for watching and uh yeah just drop in drop messages down let me know what you guys like throw together because I love throw together cooking. It's just, um, it's the best way. I hardly ever follow recipes. Sometimes I'll see something on TikTok. I think, oh, I'd like to try that. That's random, you know, because every, everyone has different ideas about food, don't they? But which is why there's billions of food um, videos on YouTube. Right. Thanks for watching. If you don't subscribe already, I'd appreciate it. So I think I'm one away from the... 2,300 at the moment. So it'd be really nice. Just one subscriber would take me up. So I like even numbers. So, it's good. so it might already be that already. 
So anyway, so if you can share and click the little notifications bell, that would be wonderful. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Well, at least that's breakfast sorted. <laughs> that's just the leftovers. <laughs>